Hello friends, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can install Ubuntu 20.04 on VirtualBox in Windows 10. So Ubuntu 20.04 released, it is for LTS, that is long term support. You can expect around two years for support. Download it and install on your Windows using VirtualBox. So at first, you need to know what is VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a software through which you can install various operating systems on your host system. So right now, our host system is Windows. On Windows, we'll be installing different operating systems. Right now, the installation will be on Ubuntu. So at first, we need to download and install VirtualBox. So we already installed it in another video. Here you can see the shortcut. So we have added the video link in the description so that you can easily go and install Oracle VM VirtualBox on Windows 10. So now we need Ubuntu ISO file so that we can install it on Oracle VM. Go to your favorite browser, type Ubuntu. On typing, the official website is visible, ubuntu.com. Click on it. Now here, downloads. Keep the cursor, Ubuntu Desktop 20.04 LTS, long term support. This is what we want. I'll click. On clicking, now the download should begin. On the left, you can see the download has begun, ISO file. I'll pause it because we have already downloaded it. So here is the location. We downloaded it under downloads. We have saved it. Now I'll minimize this window. Now open Oracle VM, double click. So now we have opened VirtualBox here. Click the new button. Now I need to add the name of the operating system. So our operating system is Ubuntu 20.04.01. So we have added the name. Now the machine folder it has created on its own. It's under C users Amit directory VirtualBox and under that it will add all the files for the virtual machine. It has detected on its own. It's Linux and Ubuntu 64 bit. Click on next. Here you need to set the memory for your virtual machine. I have added around, it's fine till the mark, it's around 9 to 10 GB, so it's fine. You have set this for your virtual machine, that is Ubuntu. Now next, here, keep the default, it will create a virtual hard disk, keep the default and click on create. Now hard disk file type, keep the default, click on next. Now you can see physical hard disk, want a dynamically allocated or a fixed size, it's good to go for dynamically allocated because it will only take the space if it's needed. That is only if it is required. I'll go for dynamically allocated. Click on next. Now guys, here's the file location and size. It will by default go under user Amit VirtualBox directory. If you remember the machine folder under that, the folder will get created and the files will go inside. Now it is asking to set the size. So this size is the amount of file data that the virtual machine will be able to store on the hard disk. I'll mention a good size. I guess this is fine, around 50 GB. Click on create. Now you can see Ubuntu 20.04 is visible. Select this and click on settings. Now we have reached the settings. Here the name was the same type version. We saw this before. Keep the same. Click on advanced. On clicking advanced, the snapshot folder is the same directory. So keep as it is. Shared clipboard. Keep both of them bidirectional so that you can drag and drop and share clipboard, copy text and share it from your host machine to the guest and from guest to the host. Here the host machine is Windows and the guest machine is Linux Ubuntu. Now click on system. Keep this as it is. Go to processor. Here set a good amount of processor so that there are no speed issues. So I'll give three CPUs out of four. Now go to display. Screen display, remote display, recording, keep the same, default, go to storage. Now under storage, here go to controller, empty. From here, select choose a disk file, click on it. And from here, you need to upload the ISO file. We saved under downloads. Here it is. Click on open. Now you can see the same file. It is taking from downloads. Click on OK. So now place the cursor here. We have done the settings. Now click on start. Now here select the startup disk. 
so now we have selected the ISO file now click on start so now the Ubuntu will start close the warning sign now it is checking and it will begin with Ubuntu in a few seconds So the installation has started for Ubuntu on VirtualBox. Now select the language. I'll select English. Now click on install Ubuntu. Here you need to select the keyboard layout. My keyboard layout is the same. Keep it as it is. You can change from here and here. Now I'll click on continue. So it is asking that which apps you want to install. I'll keep the same normal installation. That will install the browser as well. Utilities, games, media players normal and office software as well other options keep the same updates yes i want to download update while installing ubuntu with that to avoid any issue select this option it will install the third party software for graphics and wi-fi so there won't be any issue after the installation now after selecting all three options click on continue so guys here you can see the installation type here you need to keep the default erase this and install Ubuntu so this won't erase your Windows system files or Windows system it is talking about only the virtual box data so here keep the default and select install now okay so if you continue the change in list below will be written to the disk yes it's fine because we are talking about virtual box right now click on continue so guys now you can set the location here it has detected on its own so I'll keep as it is and click on continue if you want to change just need to keep the cursor here or here your exact location click on continue so guys now you can see we have successfully installed Ubuntu now you need to add the name computer's name as well as username and password now I'll add the name of the system Ubuntu password let's type the password make a strong password now login automatically require my password to login yes I want a password I'll click on continue now the final steps are going on so guys as you can see here the installation is complete now I need to restart as mentioned here I'll click on restart now now press enter So it is restarted now. Click here. Enter the password you entered. Press enter. So guys, we installed Ubuntu successfully and after restarting and login, this is the screen which will be visible. So we are inside the Ubuntu operating system. Now after installation, you can see we are unable to maximize this window. There is no arrow key available on all the sides. So this is an issue. How we will fix it? We will go to terminal and add some command. This will install your VirtualBox guest editions, which is useful so that you can easily maximize the screen. Now go to terminal, click here, applications. Here type terminal, click on it. Now we have typed the command, press enter, enter the password. Now press yes. Do you want to continue? Yes. Press Y and press enter. Now it will install the package. So guys, the package is installed. Now we will close it. After that, go to the devices menu, click on insert guest editions, CD image. Now, here you can see it is intended to automatically start. Yes, we want to run. Click on run. Enter the password. Now, the modules are getting installed. Press enter now. Here you can see we need to restart now so that this works. To restart, click here. Power off logout. Power off. Here, restart. Uh, 
So guys click here now enter the password press enter so guys now you can see we can successfully maximize it so we have successfully maximized it using the commands which installed virtualbox guest editions so guys in this video we saw how we can work with virtualbox to install ubuntu on windows 10 we installed ubuntu 20.04.01 on windows 10 with the help of virtualbox thank you for watching the video if you like the video or complete tutorial then subscribe to our amit things youtube channel